Next at 6, a local personal trainer and the women he has worked with are asking for a public apology tonight. They're also warning about posting photos online. News 3's Jessica Arp explains how their success stories were allegedly stolen. Well, it's a cautionary tale of what can happen with photos on the Internet. Some local women were surprised to find that a simple copy and paste meant they were showing up as a success story for someone else. Alicia Holsworth is 31 years old with two kids and an avid runner. I think he changed my name to Vanessa. But according to this site, her name is Vanessa, and she brags about being 38. It's just random, you know, who, who does that? I mean, I work hard for my clients, and I, you know, so it's like to have somebody blatantly steal somebody else's work. You know, I just, I would never think of doing something like that. Alicia is a trainer for Dustin Maher Fitness. Her testimonial to his Mamatone program appears on his website. But Maher discovered this week that Alicia and four other transformations were lifted from his site. The names and ages changed and posted to the site of Devin Klein, a North Carolina trainer. He's been using this for about a year now to build his business up. And um, of course, I was not happy with it. I felt bad for my um, transformations whose pictures got jacked. Maher contacted Klein, who took down the photos. Computer security experts say the problem is rampant and hard to prevent. Our tactics at different, you know, the different products you use to try to make it difficult to get the graphics off of the site. But, you know, there's ways around all of them if you, you know, with a little effort. Maher and Holsworth would like to see a public video apology from Klein instead of what they call running away from the problem. I think his clients need to know. I mean, you know, they should know what he's doing and that he's lying and that he's, you know, not being authentic and not the trainer he says he is. We tried to contact Klein today who didn't return our messages. In an email to Maher, though, Klein admitted he lifted the photos when he started the business and intended to replace them with his own clients. The lesson to be learned here, security expert Messino says business owners can add watermarks to photos which make them harder to steal, but really the only solution is to be vigilant and to take action if or when this, is hap this happens, which is exactly what they've done. Wise words in these uh, digital days. Jessica, I'm reporting Jess. Thank you.